Good evening, welcome to Lights of Christian Academy. We are here for second round action in the Central Bank Jim Rose Holiday Basketball Classic. I'm Greg Horn, joined by Prep Spin founder and president William Warfield. And got a match up here between Beachwood and Connor. Just getting tipped off here. Glad that you did join us. We'll have in the next game the between the host team, Lexington Christian Academy and Madisonville North Hopkins. But right now we've got the Beachwood and Connor playing to see if they can, who can get a spot in the championship game tomorrow. And from the corner there, nice jump shot. In fact, that is a three ball attempt there for Connor. Number five, Jared Hicks. So three nothing. Connor with the lead. Another three ball attempt. Oh, nice stroke there. That was number one. Mesher, senior there with the three balls. So we're tied. Thank you. Three, three apiece. Turnover out of bounds. That's going to stay down this way, though, for Connor. Connor in the blue and white. Beachwood in the red and white. On the year, you got Beachwood. That's six and five. Connor struggling a little bit. They are three and nine. Beachwood averaging 68 points a game. Connor really struggles offensively, only 53, but uh, being aggressive so far. The jump shot there, though, rejected. Beachwood got the ball. Both teams won yesterday, beating Lexington schools. Connor beat Tate's Creek, and Beachwood beat Frederick Douglass. So the two Lexington schools go down. And Beachwood there gonna be called for the travel there. That's number five for them. Jared Hicks. The winner gets the winner of the next game between LCA and Madisonville. I want to give those fans though that want to see who LCA may be playing. And for the Connor and Beachwood fans is both of those are a little bit of distance from here. Rebound goes to number one, Dang Mesher for Beachwood. They average almost 70 points a game, so they're gonna they're gonna put it up. Good drive, it's gonna pick up a dribble, another three ball attempt. It's gonna be a little bit short. Wow, push there by Connor, no call. Obviously, for the Cougars of Connor, they uh, number five there, Jared Hicks has got the green light, baby, because uh, he's already shot three times here in the first two and a half minutes, and that's okay. Free throw is off. Hicks is uh, just a sophomore, so. Got a lot of basketball left for him, and we saw a lot of sophomore talent last night on Madisonville North Hopkins. Second one's good. Connor goes up on top, four, three. All right, buddy. And working around the horn there. Brady Simmons with the ball, kicks it over on the wing there. Oh. They like to shoot the three, as you can tell, but unfortunately, Beachwood not able to find the range so far here. They've got one, but they've one for four from three-point range so far, so we'll see what the Cougars of Connor can do here. It's really young team, not much height, as you can tell there by looking at them, but they did get the nice win over Tate's Creek yesterday. Tanner Craddock with the ball out front right now. Trap in the corner, tries to save it, but it's still there by Brady Simmons. Simmons with the drive, he misses, but the rebound and the putback there by Beachwood. Nice rebound basket there. It was Zach Deathridge there, but Connor responds with another three ball there. So Connor scoring the ball a lot more than they normally do. 
Yeah, now we're getting into a little bit of offensive flow here. Scoring the ball there. C.J. Brandon for Beachwood. Connor almost responds back, so really getting a good offensive flow going here for these two teams as they get those first quarter nerves out of the way. And plus, on the road, probably didn't sleep well at the hotel last night, so 7-7. Seven, seven. We're tied. Got a good one here so far. Deathridge with the ball for Beachwood. He drives. Almost loses it, but they able to pass it off there to Simmons and pass it up. Three ball attempt again. Scotty Drought. Some of you got a feeling and wonder if uh, he's related to the Drought that played at uh, Vanderbilt. There was a Scott Drought that uh, played at Vanderbilt that could really shoot the ball. Rebound goes to Beachwood. They're going to look to push it as much as they can or shoot three balls. Good pass inside. Good swing pass in the corner. Another three ball attempt. Unfortunately, Beachwood just can't get them to fall so far. They've only got one three, and they've shot, I believe that's the sixth one. But the secret of shooters, you just keep shooting. I saw that, yeah. Unfortunately, the guy from uh, Connor not expecting that one. Got uh, got his numbers and his back pressed a little bit, but checking in for Beachwood. He got a couple of subs here. We've got number two, Ryan Henry, and number 23, Duncan Bob's going to check in. William Moorfield grabs the headset, so. Really, they're going a 30-second timeout. Uh. Yeah, so this, I mean, this game's going back and forth right now. As you mentioned, it could definitely be a, an offensive uh, slobber knocker, if you will. <laughs> I think that's the right term for it. Yes, sir. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, this, uh, it's got a, it's got an exciting uh, build up to it. If both teams could start hitting those three balls, then uh, could be in for a good one. Well, no doubt about it. A big win yesterday for Beachwood as they beat Frederick Douglass 62 to 55. And they actually put up 90 points earlier this year against Williamstown. So Beachwood definitely can score the ball. Connor is a little more, uh, struggles a little more on the mm -hmm. offensive end. But you know what? This might be a breakout game for them. And they got some momentum, got some confidence after the W against Tate's Creek. Well, they also got Thor on the bench, too. So whenever he comes into the ball game, he adds a little excitement to six man. <laughs> I, I really like number 13 for uh, Connor, too, by the way. He he took so many uh, hits in that first game, it seemed like. Uh, I mean, just on hustle plays, he, he kept, hitting the, kept hitting the floor. And you like to see that if you're a coach, I know. Absolutely. Speaking of that, three ball in the corner, but won't fall for Mr. Brendan Jen. But foul on Beachwood, so. That's going to be on Mr. Ryan Hemry, his first foul, only the second of the game for Beachwood, only one on Connor. So we've had a foul-free game for the most part here, only three fouls, and we've played uh, over five and a half minutes. So the, the young man that they call Thor on the team is number 33, by the way. Is it uh, Connor or Beachwood's team? For Connor. For Connor, number 33, Riley Osterberg. Osterberg, yeah, that's the guy that they call Thor. I love that name. I see him out there. He's balling. He's a he's a super he's a superhero on the court as a six man. That's what I'm told. To wow, he just got the block. Looked like Thor on that, and the deuce by Ben North. North gets his first bucket of the game, and Connor with a four point lead. Connor may have found himself in this tournament. Oh, nice up and under, but can't finish for Beachwood and Connor. They're running. Oh, and the finish. Brendan Jen, he is in fuego on fire. Seven points. He's leading all scores. 13-7, biggest lead of the game for either team. Connor. Had their record a little bit deceiving. They're going to try another three. This one hits the front, but gets the shooter's roll there for Scotty Drowd. And I got to find out, because like I said, his dad, I mean, Scott, if his dad is Scott Drow, which you might think with a name like Scotty, maybe dad Scott. Ooh, so. nice spot. Yes, sir. 23, Duncan Boss, and not in my house. Good down hard. 
Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of hard walking in in somebody's house <laughs> like that and, and uh, trying to get a get a shot off, especially when you got a nice center in there like uh, like Beachwood does. Thor has checked into the game now. He is officially. He's he's in there. I told officially you. Officially is in the game. Thirty three. It was twenty three. I was he's, mistaken for. I, I was told that he's a he's a soccer star too. I don't know how true that is, but uh, I was told that he is quite the soccer player. Well, he's got the headband working, which you see a lot in soccer, and it's becoming more popular in basketball. So he's but, on defense right now. But the six man is in there. So we've got him. And and perfectly. We, we, you know, the nickname Thor today happens to be Stan Lee's 95th birthday. Really? How about that? There you go. I saw it trending on Twitter earlier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going to the free throw line now for. You ever, you ever see somebody's name on Twitter and you're like, oh, man, I hope nothing happened to that guy. Yep. Stan yep. Lee was that guy for me today when I checked you Twitter. Saw that I, saw him, like, I yeah. saw him trending, and but thank goodness it was just his birthday. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Yeah, he's had a good run, Stan has. Man. He's, he's got a little series on TV, too, now, by the way. Does it really? Yeah. Uh, um, something about uh, superpowers. Of course, you know, he, he created all the superhero books and right. comics and right. things. But, Absolutely. Um, yeah, he, he goes out and finds, like, superhuman abilities. Uh, and people like guy that can throw the football so many are we you know oh, okay yeah accuracy and things like gotcha. that gotcha i have to google that and find out it's on a and e or one of those channels okay. i don't know anyway back to the game <laughs> <laughs> in the corner wow right on cue there jalen scott with the three ball and connor man they only averaged 53 points a game they got 18 at the end of the first quarter oh, so not bad first quarter there for them absolutely all right. Well, my oh man's multitasking here, William Moorfield. So, but on the year, as we were saying, Connor three and nine, Beachwood six and five. So, um, you know, if you're looking at, on paper, you're saying, well, Beachwood probably wins this game. Beachwood averaging 68 points a game. Connor only 53. But right now, Connor's got 18. If they stayed at this pace, they would want scoring 72 points in this game, which would be almost 20 points above their average so uh, we'll see but this is a central bank Jim Rose classic they are uh, giving a little bit of a bio biography there of Mr. Jim Rose uh, who is a huge part of why this Lexington Christian Academy school is where it is here they call it the Rose campus in honor of him for his leadership also for donating financial resources uh, his his widow, Judy Rose, is here, and she'll be giving out some uh, awards at the end of the tournament. So we want to thank Mr. Rose for all he's done, the Rose family. Um, like I said Miss Rose is here. I saw her yesterday and today already, so she has been in attendance. And we really appreciate uh, their support here to make LCA possible uh, one of the driving forces. Obviously, a lot of people, but they definitely were some of the leaders in doing that. And thank Central Bank for making this uh, postseason tournament possible. So second quarter, we're ready. Glad you joined us. Number 10 in, Tanner Craddock. He gets it over to Thor. Back over to Tanner Craddock. Up top, he's guarded by Brady Simmons. Reverses it. Oh, Jen's got it back up top. Simpson gives it over to Scott. Oh, nice fake the ball hand, hand off, but gives it back. Oh, unfortunately, Osterberg couldn't ha handle it. Beachwood, nice drive. Can't get it to fall. There's a lid on Beachwood's basket there. The rebound by Simmons. Simmons always around the ball. Yeah, he's a nice player. I'm going to give a shout-out to uh, some folks on wow. Twitter tuning in. Breeze raining like raindrops right now. Unbelievable. Nice stroke there by Tanner Craddock. Um, got a shout out. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I got to look at it and see what the name is again. It was uh, some other sports network that's up in uh, the Tri-City area. Okay. Tuning into this one. Well, we appreciate them tuning in. Uh, and James Weber's tuning in as well. All Give right, James. Out. James Weber. All right, Beachwood response 21-17. 
Glad you tuned in. I'm Greg Horn, joined by William Warfield. Here in second day of the Central Bank Jim Rose Beach Ball Classic. Connor can't get it to fall. Goes off Connor. I believe that was Brendan Jen. It went off. Good hustle by Brendan, but it's going to go over to Beachwood. 6.29 left here till halftime. You just made me chuckle there for a second. <laughs> the Beach Ball Classic. I like it. <laughs> Did I call it that? Did I really? Well, that's because Beachwood's out there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, I was watching some of that because uh, my brother's got a signy in there. Texas, uh, University of Texas has a, a player that played. And uh, <laughs> so, wow. Man, I got to get more sleep. <laughs> last night I was calling uh, Madisonville, Madison Central all mm. night. So, got to love that's, it. That's great, man. <laughs> yeah, you you need to get your rest. I need to get my rest. We all need we all need a little rest, especially after all that uh, turkey and ham we talked oh about my eating. Oh gosh, yeah. man, the food coma. Sure, <laughs> it'll last with you a week or two, you know. Oh my goodness, yeah, I gotta. I honestly believe that turkey makes you sleepier. I've heard that. I really have. I've heard there's something in it that uh, will help you do. Maybe it's because of eating large quantities of it. But uh, yeah. All right, we got a two point game now. Beachwood starting to get. A little warmed up. It's, they average almost 70 points a game. So, see what Connor can do. See if they can respond. Pratic's got it out front. Reverses over to Thor. Oh, the drive. Wow, a lot of contact. No call there. But Beachwood gets it on the turnover. Dethridge just got it. He's going to drive. Tries to go up. Block. Ooh. Jump ball. Jump ball, yeah. That was a good call. Okay. Yeah, about I, I like to tell the official check with the other official and say, hey, did you see the same thing I just seen? And they did. So that's good good officiating. Check it in now for Beachwoods. Got a sub. <laughs> wow. Okay, there's definitely a foul there. It's gonna be on number 23, Jalen Scott. Somebody said that if you eat turtle, <laughs> it'll put you to sleep for days. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, not quite that brave. I know yeah, some not. people. Said seven kinds of meat. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Ow. Is there that many kinds of meat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll get back to you on that one. 21-19 in Beachwood. Trying to get back on top. Connor's biggest lead, six points. Oh, man, Osterberg tried to shoot the three ball a little short. The drive, nice drive, foul. Mesher with a strong take, and I believe that's going to be Osterberg or Thor, as we like to call him. And it is, so that's going to be his first foul. Well, I assume that they call him Thor because of the long hair. Yeah, I would, I would guess that. As a guy that's uh, follically challenges me, I'm a little jealous of that. So. He's got a main, nice, nice, beautiful set of hair. I believe it's going to be Mesher going to the line and uh, on the year from the free throw line, Mesher actually this could be his first free throw attempts, at least uh, the stats that I was given before the game. So we'll see what he can do. Stay tuned on our next game. We're going to have Lexington Christian County playing Madisonville North Hopkins. Madisonville North Hopkins had to go to overtime last night to beat Louisville Central. So going to the free throw line will be Mesher. And by my records, it doesn't show that he's been to the free throw line, but like I said that may not be the most up to date. But unfortunately, he misses his first shot there, so still a two point lead, but he'll have a second here. That's one thing <coughs> that uh, I, I never understood was uh, people not putting their stats out there when the technology is available to do so. 
You get that out there so that uh, you can get these kids noticed. Absolutely, man. I agree. Oh, nice stroke there in the corner by Craddock. Tanner Craddock with the three ball. He's got six. And the lead's up to five. Connor's led by as many as six. Oh, nice drive by Messer. He can't get it to fall, but. I heard a, oh. heard a, I, say I heard a coach the other day. This is more just talking, but I heard a coach the other day saying, well, we don't update our stats because we're afraid the other teams are going to learn who's, our, who's really good on our team. But isn't that kind of being selfish, though? Well, I mean, you know, it's the first of all, the KHSAA, you know, requires it. So it's kind of a requirement. Yeah. And then, too, like you said, though, man, college scouts are at every game, and they may not even be looking at your team, but looking at somebody else. But there's many kids that have gotten college scholarships because a college scout was scouting their opponent, but then they saw somebody on the other team they liked. All right. I apologize. I said that that was Death Ridge 3 and 5. I'm going to have to get some glasses because even though you can tell they're – Kind of similar, but I got a good friend over there in Harrodsburg that can help you out. Klosterman Eye Associates. Okay. Good friends of mine. Well, all right. Well, I may have to check them out here because you got the you got the Ortho K's in. That's uh, some there contacts you, you wear at nighttime, and you take them out during the day. Really? It's supposed to be like braces for the eyes. Some, wow. Some new technology they got. He gave me a pair. I haven't used them very much yet, though. Huh, yeah, I'm not familiar with that. That's Definitely want to try them. Yeah, no doubt. And you're going to be heading to warm Las Vegas, is it January 2nd? Yeah. Wow. It's not warm, though. Really? It's, well, during the daytime, it's about 60, between 60 and 70, which is better than here during the day. But, night, it gets but in cooler. nighttime, it gets really, really cold. It does, it's been a while since I've been. I went about 15 years ago. I haven't been since then. So. And that arena is going to be cold, too, I assume. <laughs> That's true with hockey, so. Yeah. Nice drive there by Matt Simpson for Connor. I tell you, I'm just really impressed by what Connor's doing. I mean, you would never realize that they only average 53 points a game. They got almost half of that up already, and we still got four minutes left here in the second quarter. Well, this must be the best first half that they've had then, because, I mean, they, they've done an outstanding job so far. Absolutely. Then they almost got a bucket there, but Gullion is fouled, so he'll get a chance still to add to this total. Goyen, and then another, uh, and I understand that's his last name, but isn't that a word for a gold coin, or is that Boygan? It might be Boygan. I don't know. That's, you're getting deep on me there, man. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> sure, brother. I, well, the name just sounds like sounds yeah. like what they were saying. I was watching, uh, oh, what was it? You know that uh, that one show that's on History Channel where they, they're – they're digging up, you know, trying to find the treasure. Oh, yeah, underneath. yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I can't think of the name of it, but I know what you're talking about. I was flipping through a lot of channels here the last couple of days late at night. I understand, man. Like you said, you get that turkey coma, get yeah. a nap in, then you can't go to sleep. Yep. Oh, nice block. I believe that was Simpson that got the block. He punched that. Oh, the spin move. Can he get the fall? Oh, he can't. Nice move by Hicks. He just can't get anything to fall. I won't say anything because he's got four, but he's had several like that just would not go down at the last second. Oak Island, that's the name of the show. Okay. Oak Island. I've heard of it. I haven't seen it. I've seen, yeah, you know, I've heard about it and know what you're talking about. They supposedly found some go gold boygans, I think is the name for it, gold boygans. Okay. Well, it's got gold in it. It must be something good, and boygan sounds impressive, so. 3.02 left till halftime. Connor leading Beachwood 25-21. Sorry, this has been more like a talk show, hasn't it? <laughs> well, we're having fun, but uh, I thought, well, since we got people tuning in, we better give them some updates. I'll see what Hicks can get. And he does. He does Good for yeah. Hicks, man. He, like I said, he's nice. had so many shots close. He's the man. Hicks gets the jumper to fall, but Beachwood, like I said, oh, there you go. <laughs> Stroud, uh, he, you can tell he's got a good stroke. He first three shot did not fall in three-point range, but now he, the last couple, of, he's hit the range. He's got ten. He's leading everybody in scoring right now. So it's the NBA range right there that he just hit. That was deep. Good rebound there by Mesher. <clears throat> Looking to push it. Kicks it over to Dethridge. He drives. Good ball fake. Goes up. Nice. Did a little dribble, dribble stutter, I like to call it. That was a nice move. This is a good ball game so far. 
27-26. We still got two minutes left till halftime. Connor up by one. There's a the handoff there. Got the 2-3 zone going. That's Craddock. He kicks it up. Can Hicks hit two in a row? Oh, a little short. Rebound goes to Deffridge for Good. Beachwood. Online, just not as strong enough. Yep, a little short. Oh, nice pass there by Drow, but fortunately the receiver there couldn't contain it, so Drow drives. Let's pick up his dribble. Good defense there by Osterber. All the underneath and the deuce. Watch that. Deathridge. That was nice. I'm going to throw that on our instant replay there. That was nice. Yeah, it was. I'll turn your uh, monitor on. I apologize about that. No problem. All right, Connor's got to call a timeout because Beachwood finally got the lead. 28-27. Connor's been in control the whole second quarter. Now Beachwood gets their first lead since early in the game. And they're looking really good. Drow got 10. 15. Toby. Hope I'm saying your name right. He's got two. Schilling has six. And Deathridge has four. 28 points for Beachwood. Then you've got Connor with 27. Hicks has got six. Craddock's got six. Cooper Gullion has got one. Back to play here, see what the coach drew up for the Cougars. Matthew Ott, Ott maybe, I apologize for O-T-T-E. Now, Beachwood goes to a man-to-man -man out of the timeout. They were playing some 2-3, but fouls called. Deathridge, second. Yep, Deathridge, one of their key players, so I would think he, yep, he is going to come out because don't want to get him in foul trouble. So Ryan Henry checks in, number two for the Tigers of Beachwood. Championship game is what time tomorrow? I believe it's at 6.15. 6.15. I'll double check on that halftime on my bracket, but I okay. think you're right. Connor responds 29 28. They've got that lead. We got 20 seconds left, and they do respond. Nice bucket there. Drought. He's got 12. He's leading everybody. Hicks is going to drive, see what he can do. Throws it up, can't get it. Rebound goes to Beachwood. Going to get a foul call with eight and a half seconds. That's going to be seven on Connor, so that'll mean free throws. Yeah. Didn't have many fouls called the first quarter, but second quarter there picked up the pace a little bit. And Duncan Baugh is going to be going to the free throw line for the Tigers. The officials will always make up for that. <laughs> I've learned that over the years. Yes, most of the time that is the case. Baugh is unfortunately hadn't shot any free throws, at least according to my records, and uh, he still – has not made one there, 0 for 1. Pull up by Hicks at the buzzer, it's good! Yep. Hicks with eight points, and he uh, led Connor in the first half and gives him a one point lead. What a great first half we had. The winner will play in the championship tomorrow of the Central Bank, Jim Rose. Holiday Classic, so basketball classic. So I'm gonna get some stats and uh, I'll be back here in just a few minutes, but you're listening to the Central Bank, Jim Rose, Holiday Classic on PrepSpin.com.
At Lexington Diagnostic Center, we love athletes. We understand that when you are injured, the results of an MRI, CT scan, or x-ray can be the only thing keeping you off the field. And that's what we're here for. Same or next day appointments, front door parking, and our on-site radiologists make it easy for you to quickly get the results you and your doctor need. Call and compare prices. We can save you hundreds of dollars. We would love to help get you back in the game. Call and compare prices at the Lexington Diagnostic Center. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Over 30,000 Kentuckians are saving time and money by doing their banking online with Whitaker Electronic Banking. 341,000 transactions were made on the go last year using the Whitaker Bank mobile app. Over 340,000 text alerts were sent last year with Whitaker Bank text banking. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. Hi, this is Gary Ball for Crown Trophy of Lexington. Crown Trophy offers youth sports awards, corporate awards. They offer signs and a full line of promotional products. They're located at 2680 Wilhite Drive on the corner of Nicholasville, New Circle Road, just behind Starbucks. Stop by and pick up your copy of our 85-page catalog. Crown Trophy is nationally known, but locally owned with 150 stores nationwide. Crown Trophy, the official provider of plaques for the Scholastic Ball Report and Prep Spin. By the numbers, Whitaker Bank loves the Kentucky communities we serve. Whitaker Bank supports 496 Kentucky schools. Over 282,000 students benefit from Whitaker Bank's Kentucky education initiatives. Whitaker Bank has contributed almost $441,000 to education programs for the advancement of Kentucky's youth. We share your passion, Kentucky. Love the bank that loves you back. Whitaker Bank is uniquely Kentucky. All S, all P, all O, R, T, S, Sports. In Fayette Mall on Facebook and Twitter, locally owned and operated since 1972. I wanted to get back on the basketball court. I want to get back to the ref I used to be. I want to get back to gardening. I want to get back to playing with my band. Only one team is qualified to get patients back to living their lives. Bluegrass Orthopedics has physician experts to assist in your recovery, whether it's an injury or chronic condition. Bluegrass Orthopedics provides convenient, specialized, and comprehensive care for your unique life. My tax refund usually helps me out, but this year it was much lower than what it was supposed to be. This isn't enough to get me caught up. What am I supposed to do? Is this happening to you? We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Bankruptcy could be your best solution. We're here to give you a fresh financial start. Say no to debt. Get your bankruptcy started for as little as $78 today. The consultation is free in Lexington and now in London. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. I used my credit cards over the holidays, and I thought I could make it work. But between the bills and everything else, I'm really starting to fall behind. A lot of people out there are drowning in debt. We're Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. You can have a brighter future away from debt. We've come up with a way to get you started for less. Say no to debt. Get your bankruptcy started for as little as $78 today. In Lexington and now in London. Sitters are here. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay kids, behave. Man to man. I got the little guy. Oh, did you leave cash for the pizza? 
I got it. With more features than ever. All right, who's hungry? Mobile banking from Central Bank lets you deposit checks, pay bills, okay, you're gonna get a rip screen. send and receive funds with pop money, and more. Hey. So you can stay in the game without missing a step. Do more with mobile banking from Central Bank, official bank of UK Athletics. Folks, this is Gary Ball, and you hear my catchphrase, soup and a sandwich. When I want the best potato soup and prime rib sandwich, I head over to Rafferty's Restaurants after my games. Check out Rafferty's nine great locations throughout Kentucky, and all you teens, you can eat at Rafferty's before those big ball games. The open prime rib sandwich is what legends are made of. Ask Joe B. Hall, the legend himself, it's his favorite. Rafferty's a big supporter of high school sports throughout Kentucky. Rafferty's, where the special is you. Brady Simmons, Simmons with the drive, he misses, but the rebound and the putback. Zach Dethridge there, but Connor responds, scoring the ball a lot more than they normally do. Man, now we get uh, Connor not expecting that one, got, uh, got his numbers in his back pressed a little bit. Beachwood and Connor, they're running. Oh, and the finish. Their record a little bit deceiving. They're going to try another three. This one hits the front, but gets the shoot. This is in the game. 33. It was 23. I was he's, mistaken for it. I was told that he's a he's a soccer. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> <laughs> in the corner. Wow. Right on cue there. It's drive. Can't get it to fall. There's a lid on Beachwood's basket there. The rebound by. Another sports network that's up in uh, the Tri-City area. Okay. Tune into this one. You get these kids noticed. Absolutely, man. I agree. Oh, nice stroke there in the corner. By... Give him some updates. I'll see what Hicks can get. And he does. He does. Good for yeah. Hicks, man. Ball, but Beachwood, like I said, oh, there you oh. go. Drowd, uh, he, you can tell he's got a good stroke. He first three shot did not fall in three-point range. Over to Dethridge. He drives. Good ball fake. Goes up. Nice. Get a little... All the underneath and the deuce. The game is what time tomorrow? I believe it's at 6 15. 6 15. Oh, it's 29 28. They've got that lead. We got 20 seconds left, and they do respond. That's not made one there, 0 for 1. Pull it by Hicks at the buzzer. It's good. Yeah. Hicks with eight points, and he uh, led Connor the first time.
That's his third there at Markham. So he's got three fouls now, and he's one of the starters for Connor. So he's going to have to be careful. Two for Beachwood, Dethridge, and then I believe it was Schilling, if I'm not mistaken, but he is checked out. So uh, he's trying to protect him. But Markham is going to have to get a blow since he's got three fouls. And now checking in for the Cougars of Connor is number 23, Jalen Scott. 41-35, Connor up by six. Now down to five. Toby, he's got five on the day for Beachwood. Beachwood, a little trap out of that zone. Good ball movement. Oh, the nice pass. Can he finish? And one. Count it. Nice job there by Ben North. He's got four. North able to use the force on that shot. Yes. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Got to pay attention here. Mr. Warfield, he'll work one in on you now. You got to pay attention. That was a good one. Uh, you gotta love it. Misses, but the free throw come, or the rebound back out. Oh, short on the three. I was gonna say they're gonna really go up. They could go in. It was short. Hicks gets it. He goes up. He's stripped. He goes back up again. Hicks won't be denied. He's got 12. Man, big time hustle effort by Hicks. Biggest lead of the game for either team. Nine points right now for Connor. Oh, Ouch. facial. <laughs> Let's see if we can get that again. That <laughs> right there must have hurt. I think he got fortunate. Maybe a oh, oh, my God. goodness. No, he oh. did not get fortunate. It did hit his face. Ouch. Wow. That was right off, that was right off that grill. <laughs> my oh, goodness. Mr. Mr. Duncan Bob, man, I'm glad he's okay. I thought it hit right below his neck. and No, he got a facial. I, hope his, I guess his nose is okay. Man, that was rough. Yeah, that uh, – Woo. Well, I guess see, that one was, that was brutal. Watch, I'm going to slow it down even more as we go frame by frame here. Okay, wow. It's, oh, my gosh. And he just shakes it off. Look at it. No big deal. Yeah, that guy's tougher than nails. My it goodness. Is. Man, I'm just, I thought maybe he'd have a nose broken. And look <laughs> at him. He's just standing in the back of the huddle. He's good. He's got to play football or something. Man, that guy's tough. I, they'd have to take me to the locker room and give me an ice pack. I've been wimped out after a brutal – Hit like that. <laughs> he would have called ball game, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm done. Done. Yeah. I think that's what I would have done. <laughs> Man. Mr. Bob, Duncan Bob's like, I'm good. But, unfortunately, his team, Beachwood, is not good as Connor, the Cougars. Nine-point lead, and they got the ball after that great hustle save there by Hicks. Hicks will be inbounding it to Craddock. See if they can get this thing in the double digits, which, like I said, this team's only averaging 53 a game, and they have got 45 right now. We still got 326 in the third. Very impressive outing. Hicks gets in the lane. Nice kick. Great ball reversal. And buckets. Nice. That's, that's just good basketball, friends. Brendan Jim with 16. He's leading everybody in scoring for both teams. i tell you, he's a star. He's a nice player. 48-36. 12-point lead, biggest lead for either team. And Connor just playing with a lot of confidence right now, as they should be. Another steal. Goes in for the layup, and it is good there by Ben North. North's got six points now. Beachwood trying to get back. Three ball in the corner. Shot by Brandon. It's off. Rebound goes to. The Cougars, Hicks has got it. You know he's going to go coast to coast. He tried to go strong. Nice block there, though. Beachwood says, slow down. North Hicks back up to Craddock. He's going to set it up. So it was a really nice block there by Dethridge. Yep. I apologize. What Dethridge? That was Miller. I'm sorry. Hicks drives in the lane. Going to be a foul. So 14 points. 14-point lead. Very impressive performance by Connor. Like I said, they're three and eight. Just really struggled and got the win on against Tate's Creek yesterday and building off that momentum, trying to win back-to-back -back games. Only had two wins coming in. Oh, the runner, but comes up a little short for Craddock. Rebound there by Simmons. 
he gets it out, you know, he's actually going to bring that thing up. Try to go back door, pull up. Oh, that was nice. Just couldn't get it to fall. Beachwood just having a hard time getting the shots to fall. See if that's a foul or a carry. I believe it's going to be a foul. There's a the thing on here said, I don't know what's more entertaining, this cool game or the commentator. <laughs> <laughs> We're having fun, baby. We're having fun. In the Christmas spirit. We've got a timeout. I believe that that's Beachwood. I would be pretty confident that would be them calling a timeout because they've got a 14-point deficit and don't have much time left here in the third quarter. So we do want to thank White Greer Maggard Orthodontics for being our main sponsor here at Press Fem. We've got lots of other good sponsors. We appreciate them. But White Greer Maggard has been a big-time supporter of High school athletics here on Prep Spin. Want to thank Bluegrass Orthopedics. Andrew Carlson here working a plethora of hours as this tournament's got four games a day. Starts about two o'clock. Getting here at the gym. Probably left about 11 last night, and he probably got here before too. He had to be here, ready to go at two. He probably here about one, getting everything ready. So, 10-hour days. Even though school's out, he is still getting it done. So, Andrew Carlson does a great job. Yes, he does. Excellent. Bluegrass Orthopedics. Harold Dennis saw him here last night also working with Bluegrass Orthopedics, former UK football player. So they are top-notch professionals. Connor seeing if they can even increase this lead. Thor with the runner in the lane. Buckets for Osterber. And uh, Dennis cut us a little promo, by the way. He said uh, when we were over there filming him, he said, you're watching the game live here on Prep Spin. Nice. Like that. Oh, yeah. Very talented guy. Oh, nice spin in the lane. Deathridge gets fouled, so he's. That's not Deathridge. 15. It's 5 and 15 to 1. It's very small on the back of these jerseys, but I believe it's Toby. It could be Tobe. I apologize if I'm saying it wrong. T O E B B E. T O E double B E. Up the Connor lead right now. They've almost got their game average, yeah. 53, and we still got a minute 20 left, and they're only one point away from that. Minute 20 left in the third quarter. Hey, oh, see. exactly. Yeah, we got a whole There's quarter. Got a little another quarter left. You're right. Very impressed with these kids, but you know Beachwood's going to make another run. They're not going to lay down. So that second free throw is good there by Ben. So he has got seven points on the day. Lead 52 to 38. Only a minute 20 left here in the third quarter. Beachwood needs to get a couple of stops here and some buckets. See if they can get this under 10 before we go into the fourth. Connor is my official all-hair team <laughs> of the year so far. <laughs> oh, oh, Osterberg was a nice pass. Got it in right in the middle of the lane there to Gullion. And Gullion got fouled, so he's going to go to the free throw line for a couple. He's got one point on the day. My man Osterberg showing everything, shooting three balls, making the dish. Hey, Connor's playing the perfect game today if they're only averaging 53. They do have 53 now, so. Yeah, they, they are clicking on all cylinders today. Yesterday against Tate's Creek, they scored 63, so they. They weren't even averaging 53 until yesterday. Below that, probably about 51. So they're looking good. They've surpassed their average. They've got 54 points. Minute three left here in the third. 16 point lead, their biggest lead of the game. Each one definitely needs to get a bucket on this. Nice drive by Drowd, and he's going to be fouled. Drowd, that's, he's had 12 at halftime, led Beachwood in scoring. This is going to be. If he can score here from the free throw line, he's got a great stroke. Be his first points in the second half. He does. They've done a good job on him. The athletic department at Beachwood tuning into this one today. I know your team's down, but uh, got a got a bright future with this Beachwood team. Absolutely. Great coaching staff. Good kids. Oh yeah, Beachwood obviously great football power. It's just Connor, Connor's playing their perfect game today. <laughs> yeah, it's it just, you know, it, it happens sometimes. We still got a lot of basketball left. Beachwood will definitely make a run. This one's not over by any stretch. Good pass there on the 
Fast break press offense there. And the bucket scored by Simpson for the Cougars of Connor. Nice drive by Drought and buckets. That's a big bucket right there. They needed that one. 56-42. That's one of them confidence boosting buckets. Yes, sir. They needed that. And they can get a stop here, maybe even get a bucket before the end of this quarter. Three ball deep from Simpson. It's short. Rebound by Osterberg. Somebody get a body on Thor. Oh, Kronick with the behind the back. Oh, on the dish, though. Good defense. Uh, Toby. Toby does it, gets a deflection. Man, that was huge because that not stopped it with only two seconds left. Kept a good shot happening at the time and see what they can get here, though. Craddock gets it a big court. One, two dribbles deep, short. So, at the end of the third quarter, Connor 56, Beachwood 42. The winner of this game will get the winner of our next game, which will be Lexington Christian Academy playing Madisonville North Hopkins. We'll see what happened there. They were supposed to start at 6.15, but obviously, I'm sorry, it's supposed to start at uh, 8, 8 o'clock, but I uh, don't think that's obviously going to happen. So, Leading scores right now for the guys in the game for Beachwood Tigers, you've got number 11, Mitchell Schilling's got six. Number 13, C.J. Brannon's got nine. Number 15, Ben Tobin has seven. And Scotty Draub with 16 to lead the Tigers of Beachwood. Over on the other side for the Beachwood, I'm sorry, for the Connor Cougars, you've got number 10, Tanner Craddock with a weapon. Mr. Simpson, number 12, Matt Simpson with two. Number 13, Brendan Jim with 16 to lead them. Number 20, Cooper Gulliam with three. And number three, Eric Van Meter with, I'm sorry, number 33, Riley Osterberg with two. Speaking of Osterberg, he shoots the three ball. A little short, but the rebound goes to the Cougars. And set, shot, Simpson buckets. He's got four. 58-42, 16 point, biggest lead. Cougars looking to go to the championship. They want to go to the ship, William Warfield, the they ship. Do. But who will they play? That's the big question. If they held on to win this game, who will they play? Will they play LCA? Or will they play Madisonville North Hopkins? That game is going to be huge. It's coming up next here on the network. Uh, you got size versus size. And then you got on the guard play, you got speed versus speed there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm however, to match up. However, I think the advantage still goes to LCA. Number one, home court advantage. Number two is our guards can hit the three. Big difference. Very true. Very true. We'll Very see true. though. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a good one. I'm looking forward to it. Asheville's got a lot of talent. So 55-844. Beachwood gets it down to 14. Oh, it's still there. But isn't it this time of the year, it's almost like you're playing an away game anyway because your your crowd's really not here because oh, yeah. Holidays, they're all on the Christmas traveling. vacation. Absolutely, yep. Just the moms and pops. But there, like you said, holiday travel. But Beachwood trying to get some more points. is going to be a foul called there on Jen for the Cougars. So going to the free throw line. Free throw short, man. They need those to get back in this one. So, unfortunately, not able to capitalize on that one there. Good drive there by Simpson. The spin and the dish. Mm. Buckets. Watch that again. We'll put it on slow-mo. Matt Simpson. Whoop. He put him in the blender, shook him up, and put it in. The deuce. <laughs> the remix, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Ryan Henry can't make it, but the uh. rebound. Each were going to the free throw line again. They need to make these. They got to score while the clock has stopped. 16-point ball game right now. 
Who would have thunk it? I, I sure did. But, you know, this is only the second time we've seen these teams. Actually, I might have seen Connor one other time. I can't. Seems like I've seen them in the beginning of the year somewhere. But well, I can't remember. <laughs> well, you, you see a lot of games by now. We all man. do. We all do, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, and that's the thing. December, late December is when teams start to, you know, come together a little bit. And they're out of school just focusing on basketball. Plus, they've got about ten games under their belt. And mm -hmm. this Cooper team is definitely improving. Simpson, he almost pulled the trigger, but he pulls it out as the coach says, let's work some clock. And, Beachwood's got a foul. These holiday games are pretty important because it's the last opportunity that you have to get ready for districts, really, when you're playing this type of schedule because when you do get into districts, you're going to play this type of schedule. Great point. So this is this is a meaningful week that uh, these high schools have that, you know, take advantage of it if you can. Because it, it really, truly, and honestly, the coaches know what they got after this week. They know exactly what they got on their team. Yeah, they know where they're at, where they've got to improve, what their strengths are, where the opportunities to improve are. And so it is huge. Three games, three days. And LCA was up the king of the bluegrass tournament, so they got to find that out last week. Unfortunately, free throw misses. So Beachwood still got a chance. Can they cut this thing down? 15 points, good kick in the corner, but letting just a little too much. So Droud's got it. They need to get him a shot because he's got the stroke. But... Obviously, Cooper knows that. They don't let him get it off, and the turnover goes over to the Cougars. I saw Nate earlier. He's, he's wearing a cast or something, air or something on his foot. You see that, Coach Valentine? Really? Yeah, he said he got a stress fracture on his foot. Oh, my gosh. No, I didn't know. I saw him, <laughs> but I was looking at his face. I didn't see his foot. Yeah, I, I had noticed it when he was up here, and he said he got a stress fracture. All right, down to 13. Beachwood making that run we talked about. Oh, Simpson can't finish. Beachwood gets it out, drowned. See what he does. Nice scoop. Oh, can't get it to fall, but he's going to go to the free throw line for two. So we knew Beachwood would make a run, William, and they're doing it. Yep. That's only one foul on Craddock, so he's in good shape. But drought, he's got 16. Needs to make these two if he does. We're going to have ourselves an 11 point game. So it's down from 16 to 11. Here, about a minute. They keep chipping away at that point. The last couple minutes, we could have a game. Oh, misses that. So, so got to get those free throws, especially with the clock stop. But 12 point lead. Some traps going on now by Beachwood. They've got to speed this up, and they do turn over the Cougars. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning in today. I know you guys, uh, a lot of you are out traveling, like like Greg mentioned, and uh, you know it truly is an honor for us to be able to bring you the game today. Absolutely. Prepspin.com here to help high school athletes show what they've got, and hopefully college scholarships for. Lots of these guys and also just great memories for guys that maybe don't play anymore, but they always have these high school games. And <laughs> well, I, I tell you, the one kid that, that made the and one down here, <laughs> he's going to remember the Force comment. See, like, I had the Force. Right? Ab absolutely. Especially in the Star Wars movie <laughs> release year, right? Absolutely, man. That was that, right that, that was good. That was great. Yeah, absolutely. You played into it, though. That's what I liked about uh, it. Yep, we did. We set it up a little bit. <laughs> had to do that. We have fun here on Prep Spin. We well, it's a little too serious sometimes. So. Oh, yeah. yeah we got not. a 10-point game. Speaking of serious, uh, Beachwood's making a serious comeback. They are. Five minutes, still a lot of time you left. You said they would. Oh, yeah. I knew that there was going to be a run in these guys. They, well, they're going to get there. That's got to be a jump ball right there. Yep, jump. Let's see who gets it on the alternate possession. It's going to go to Beachwood, so they got a chance to get it down uh -oh. to single digits. You know, Beachwood and Corbin kind of share the same uh, Paul logo, don't they? They do. Even though one is called the Red Hounds and the other one is what, the Tigers, right? Yes. Yep, the Red Hounds of Corbin. LCA played them in the second game of the year on the road down in the Le uh, Nissan Legacy Tournament. Nice reverse. Can't get it to fall, though. And over the back, so wow, Beachwood could have got it to eight if they could get that to fall, but 
just been that kind of day. But man, that's nine on Beachwood, so they're going to be shooting free throws. And on the, from here on out, after this one, ten fouls, it'll be double bonus. Yep. Double bonus. I'd like to hear that next week when I'm out west. Double bonus. <laughs> Wouldn't that be double, nice? The double bonus. Oh, man. Oh, my man Thor Osterberg with the buckets. Yes, sir. Watch this again. We'll fade back. Look at him. Nice follow through. Nice. He's got four, man. Osterberg playing a nice game. Get the instant replay. About 20 minutes after this game, you'll get to see the Lexington Christian Academy Eagles versus Madisonville North Hopkins. And then the winner of that will play the winner of this game. So uh, championship game should be a good game tomorrow, whoever wins this one. Uh, Beachwood's still going to make a run. I don't think it's over yet. Still too much time left. Uh, the full court pressing and a three-point shot. You get back to this very quickly. So far, Cooper has been able to keep it up around 10, 12 points. And see what Beachwood can do. We come out of this timeout, but I'm Greg Horn, joined by William Moorefield, and we're glad that you joined us on Prep Spin. Each one's going to have it, go coast to coast, see what they can do. I like that that Pepsi commercial that they play here. It kind of builds up like a, you know, like like the movie intro with surround sound. You know what I'm talking about? I have. I've seen that. That was a great lead pass there. Drow, the great out of bounds. Underneath out of bounds, they used to call it jet at Tate's Creek back in the day when you'd send somebody long. And unfortunately, Cooper didn't respond, have anybody back, and now they turn it over to they, Beachwood. They, they should know Thor can't fly. He's got the hammer, but he can't fly, right? That's exactly right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, he'd have to be able to fly to catch that pass. So that was high. So on the turnover, Beachwood, they got a chance to get it to single digits. A little over four minutes left in this one. I expect a strong finish. Of course, Cooper's going to see if they can respond to the challenge. Oh, wow. Drow tries to set a high screen and unfortunately was not quite set. It was a hard screen, but turnover goes over to Cooper. So. Beachwood needs to get a turnover. They pick up full court, as you would expect. And Drow gets the steal in the dish. Oh, it slips when he went to pass oh. it. Osterberg comes up with it. Osterberg buckets and one. Oh, oh Osterberg. He's getting There's. his own highlight reel, baby. Puts a little English on it. <laughs> buckets. buckets. Yeah. I love it. Man, Osterberg, you, you called it, said he gives him a spark off the bench, and he has six Great. points, yeah, seven. He's, Got seven. He's the uh, he's the sixth man. Uh, they were telling me about him. As they say. Look, he's getting all high fives over there. As they used to say on Dan Patrick on ESPN, you can't stop him. You can only hope to contain him, Mr. Warfield. <laughs> he got seven. They got to give him a breather, baby, because he has been balling. They've got it back up to 13. Beachwood had a lot of opportunities. Still a lot of time left, though. Three and a half minutes with the three-pointer. Drive, nice kick in the corner. Speaking of threes, oh, it's long. Rebound goes to Ben North. Norris got it. He'll just bring the rock up himself. Wants to get it to Craddock, but he can. Gets it over to Hicks. Hicks thought about it because he's got 12 points, but time management trying to work the clock and he gets fouled. Tebby is what the uh, address announcer, public address, so we're gonna go with Tebby. Teddy P. <laughs> yes, sir. This is Tebby with the two Bs, double B. See what Hicks can do. Short. Cooper's left some points on the free throw line too, so neither team very strong at the free throw line. And Late in the game, you can see that sometimes guys get fatigued. Mm -hmm. Second one is good, though, so back up to 14. Beachwood had it down just to 10 and had a chance to get the single digits, but each time 
Cougars respond. Oh, uh, that's big. Rebound and bucket and one. Detheridge. Oh, no, Tebby, I'm sorry. I can't tell the 15 or 5. It's hard to it's, It is hard to see kind of in here sometimes. But I wonder, I wonder if they're uh, – if they can – Brighten it up just a tad. Maybe it's because the video board's black today and just has the logo up on it. It's going to be a little brighter in here. Yeah, I can't see that single digit. Uh, it's really small. In the oh, yeah, on the Beachwood uniform. Yeah. The Beachwood unis. Kind of old school, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's, you know, they look they, nice other than it's hard when you're this far away yeah. trying to. They, got a, they certainly have a tradition in Beachwood. Absolutely. Great school. Like the red shoes with the unis, they're looking classy there, stylish. Hicks gonna go back to the free throw line. He's got 13 on the day, 258 left. Beachwood trying to get it down single digits, but Cooper, they're struggling from the free throw line. If Hicks went one for two last time. He's gonna go at best one for two this time. It is the 10, 10 fouls now, so it's gonna be two shot fouls every time. He misses both, so Beachwood still got a chance, but they need to get some buckets. The drive just cannot get it to fall. Really tough. Good drive there by Brandon, but could not get it to fall. Good ball movement by the Cougars. That was buckets excellent. By Mark, that was really nice ball movement. That stuff like that's going to win you ball games. Possibly a big one today. Yes, sir. As Beachwood starts making some threes here. It's going to be tough to come back. Drop. Is that drop? Nice. Wow. That was a great ball fake. And then he shot the little baseline jumper. He's got 23. Just a freshman, ladies and gentlemen. You'll be hearing about that young man. Scotty Drought. His dad used to fill up the bucket when he played. I thought he was a Highlands guy, if I'm not mistaken. But that is his son, and he can shoot the rock. No surprise there. No apple doesn't fall too far off the tree, so. 69-57. Well, well, well. We got us a build up here. 57, 69. Connor could win one of their biggest games of the season tonight, which would also put them in the championship game against LCA, Madisonville, North Hopkins, whoever wins that game. Well, it's going to be a good one. We'll see what, uh, what happens next, but. They got to go the length of the pass. They fake it. Good job there. Craddock's got it. He's bringing it down. Kicks it over. Tries to get to Markham, but it's knocked out of bounds. So that'll be Beachwood. I'm sorry, Cooper's ball on the side out of bounds. Hicks will inbound it for Cooper. Next team's getting ready to uh, come out the tunnels, it looks like. They're ready to play some ball. Most definitely. Is it 15 or 20 minutes between games? Uh, I think the last game there was only 15 because I looked up at the clock and before I knew it was down to 10. So Yeah, I think it was 15 to tournament. And we're running behind too. So I honestly think that, that the rules are you have to have 20 minutes before the game to warm up but the, you know we got another gym so they're using that too I'm right sure. so the yeah, guys are getting, yeah, loose, so they're, they're getting loose over there and everything which is a good thing hicks with 15 points now that's the cool thing about having two gyms is uh you can put on some good stuff absolutely well, Beachwood not able to score there, so going to be getting under two minutes now. Going to be tough. Markham, nice, nice pass. Yes, sir. North having a nice, solid game. He's got eight. 
Drow pulls some deep misses. That can't blame him at this point. Just, ooh, they said it was out on uh, Connor. Yep, that's going to be underneath out of bounds from Beachwood. Checking in now. He's going to get some of the subs in. 16 point. It's going to be pretty much impossible to overcome at 130, so their coaches let some of the other guys get some playing time. So checking in Clayton Miller, Nolan Fritz, mm -hmm. Daniel, Daniel Mesher, number one. Oh. Good hustle by Brandon Hughes, but couldn't quite get there, so. Hopefully we get all the new faces. Cameron Cazell, I believe, is also in. Hicks has got it. Gonna have a reach in foul there. I believe that's on number 21. Nolan Fritz. That'll be his first foul. So five fresh guys, fresh faces in for Beachwood. Some of the younger guys getting some varsity playing time, which is nice for them. And just was not Beachwood's days. And Connor's gonna win two in a row. And They'll be in the championship game waiting the winner of this next game between Lexington Christian Academy and Madisonville North Hopkins. They are currently 21 points over their average today. They have had the perfect game. They really have. They've played, I would think, probably, obviously I've not seen them, but just from looking at their other games, this is by far the most points that they scored this year. So I wonder, wonder what was so different about it. I mean, you know, for them coming out here and yeah. they got some good ball movement. I'll give them that. That's one of the things that they definitely did a better job. Had some good ball movement. Played some good defense and then Beachwood just couldn't get shots to fall. It's a tough day for them, just short. A lot of shots and just, mama said there'd be days like that. Mama did. Mama knows best too. Absolutely. Under 50 or under a minute now, 56 seconds. So. I think it'll be a 15-minute break. I will get some final stats from downstairs. And yeah, we'll give them to the. We're, we'll sign off of this stream and get ready for the next stream. So if you guys want to hear those final stats, it'll be on the next broadcast because we got to flip it over pretty quickly in between games. But. But yeah, definitely. Uh, well, how about we take a picture of that and post it on Twitter? And everybody, we can do that. Everybody you can give your Twitter out and they can follow you. And Absolutely. I think it may be at, at LCA Athletics, too. They may do that. Actually. Yeah, they'll, they'll do it, too. We'll retweet it. Yeah. They, they will do that. So uh, at Prep Spin, at LCA yeah. Athletics. And what's, at your, Spin, what's your Twitter? Uh, at Greg J. Horn. Greg so. J. Horn. Remember that, folks. Give this guy a follow. Yeah. He I does do. a lot uh, for high school athletics here in Central Kentucky and reaching out, branching out to other parts of Kentucky with this game here today. Yeah, it is. It's been great to connect with. Had Louisville Central last night, so we're getting that yep. area of the state. It's a shooter I, goal. I found two really good fan bases that uh, – Kind of, kind of has fell in love with with the product that we put out there is uh, Murray, down in far western Kentucky and in Mercer County, boys and girls teams. Man, they got the best fan bases I think that that are in the state. To be honest with you. Yeah, I watched a little bit of that Murray uh, Clark County girls game you did for them uh, earlier this week. Uh, yeah, that was a good one. Saturday, I guess it was actually. I think. I can't remember whatever. I hope was. I didn't too, do too bad because I'm used to doing the behind the scenes stuff. And oh, I know. And you're going by yourself. So yeah. It is tough, but no, you did fine. So, yep. Like I said, no, it means a lot. Murray is a long way away from Lexington. And so it was a good, good. Yeah, Murray, the Murray fans actually, they came up to, to where I was broadcasting at Lexington Catholic and they. Uh, they gave me a Cracker Barrel gift card. Nice. <laughs> they said thank you for uh, putting the games on. And That's awesome. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool. So. Absolutely. You and I, we're gonna have to hit up the Cracker Barrel and go to the send, barrel. Send a picture out to Murray and tell him thank you. Absolutely. Now well, back at the free throw line again.
You're you're a busy man though. You got your shows going on. You got uh, your high school coverage that you do. You, seems like you're all over the place nowadays. Yeah, it keeps me out of trouble, so that's that's good <laughs> for me. I don't think you know the word trouble. <laughs> well, I try not to, but uh, as uh, with all of us, eventually or occasionally, not eventually, occasionally, <laughs> getting <laughs> some. But uh, when I'm stay busy, it lessens the chance of that happening, messing up. But yeah. that's gonna be a wrap for this one. So final score here, and a I would call it an upset, especially because of the deficit of 16. Connor 76, Beachwood 60. So we're going to sign off here and get ready for this LCA Madisonville game. But we'll be back here in a few minutes, and uh, you can come back to PrepSpin.com for the final game of the Central Bank Jim Rose Holiday Basketball Classic.